Hello, welcome to Postcards 32. Um, I've done a split theme this time. Um, some of the cards are of women and some of the cards are of statues. So we've got a bit of each. Hope we get the best of both worlds, as the saying goes. Here's the first one. Now, before I look, I think this looks Italian. Well, I'm saying that not because I know anything about brooches or, or rings or whatever it is, but because I used to collect stamps and it looks Italian to me. It's a gold ring of a head of a woman from Greece. So a few thousand miles out there. And it is 400 to 350 years before Christ. So it's not something that's likely to turn up in a Christmas cracker. There you are. If your loved one buys you that or something similar of equal antiquity, I think you've done rather well. Slight accident here, never mind, it's only some books. Here's another woman. She is certainly the belle of the ball, isn't she? She's centre stage. Not only is the light on her, not only has he got a hand over his face, but she seems to be she seems to be offering her hands, possibly to say, kiss me. Or even maybe it goes deeper. Maybe there's a, well, there's obviously is a sexual element to it. But uh, maybe she's without rings. Maybe she's wishing for a betrothal. I don't know. This is Sir Frank Dixie, The Confession. Well, I didn't get that at all, did I? From 1896. She's confessing. Whether he's offering, offering her absolution, I don't know. But it's very striking. And she's a good-looking girl, to say the least. So there we are. Just looking at what fell down. Well, here's a recumbent member. Almost looks like a barrel cook. That's being pretty rude. This is from the Pallant House. The Pallant House is in Chichester. And I go there from time to time. They've received some funding. Uh, so consequently, they now, this is by Dodd Proctor. And it is called Early Morning. And it was done in 1927. The Pallant House is a small gallery but the standard of art in it and all that surrounds is absolutely amazing. So if you get the chance, they've just got one off, one Picasso, one Pizarro, whatever. If you get the chance, there is one day in the week when it's free to go in. Otherwise, it's probably, I don't know how much, £10 or something. It's probably worth £10 to you, particularly if it's new to you. But what I would say is there's also a very good shop there, which I always enjoy enormously. Hence my interesting cards, I suppose, really, isn't it? Now, here's someone you don't meet every day. It's very distinctive, and it is Klimt. Gustav Klimt. And it appears to be a young lady who hasn't got no clothes on. Yes. I'm concentrating to try and read it out to you. I can't. It's printed in Germany. A magic. Editions a magic. Well, if I had the original of this, I think I'd sell it. Or stick it in the kitchen. I said that to somebody once. They did a picture. It was my cousin. Uh, John. And I said um, it would go well in a kitchen, which it would have done. And he took it to be an insult and said, what, or a coal hole? And I was rebuked for what I said. But that's ridiculous because it's, you know, it's, not, it's not anything unpleasant. Anyway, there we are. There is 
Klimt. I don't know anything about the life of Klimt, but I do know that uh, his was a very distinctive style, wasn't it, with gold and embossed. Drop of water. Now, you go from Monsieur Klimt. Very definitely. Here we have a girl that possibly he might give the cold shoulder to. She came up to you possibly in the middle of the night. La Chatta, Barcelona, 1899. I can speak bits of Spanish, but I can't tr quite translate what it says. I thought it might be Toulouse Lautrec, but it's not. It's from the Picasso Museum in Barcelona. I'm not sure that it is by Picasso. It might be. I mean, he had many styles, didn't he? To show it to you again. There we are. Fag in mouth. Here we have some ladies, quite a collection. I think I'm permitted to say they look Jewish. They could all be related, couldn't they? They could be mums and sisters. And... Yes, I think so. There's nothing on the back, it's a very old one. There's nothing on the back to indicate who they are or when this was taken or where. But, um, Yes, I think I would say they are Jewish. So there we are, dark-haired, serious-minded. And I would think they look out for each other. Now here's something very posed. This is a Tux postcard. Photogravure. It's the river girl, it says. Well, the river girl. It says dreamland. I should think this is from a gallery, don't you, that she climbed in and put the things on. Yeah, that way it looks probably a little bit more. There we are. She's bobbing along in a boat. Well, that's the end of the women, the ladies, and now we come into a small amount of statues. This, I think, is Italian. I thought I would just say it was, I sometimes go for a walk along the Thames on the way to Richmond. And this reminds me of, I was going to say, the public lavatory on the way. That isn't so daft. But it's not. This is actually in Italy. If you look on the back, it doesn't actually lay it out like a postcard. It just says what this is. It's a card, but it's not necessarily got the, you know, stamp here and line here and you write the stuff here. Um, it hasn't got that. We've got two. I don't know whether they're cariated. Cariated. If uh, Simon Hill is watching this, and I bet he isn't, he'll be able to tell me from a mythological point of view who they are. And above all, and I think this is important, what they're doing. But it's quite pleasant. It's not too uh, enormous amount of work in it. And uh, everything has been scrubbed up to be white, except for the background, which is mustard yellow. It doesn't show up very well, but you can just catch glimpses of it here on the top and there's trees at the back and again another little statue it may be that it's um in a garden the sort of place you might go for to contemplate or even i don't know i was going to say sleep but that's not that's a very good example uh, maybe uh paint we even pray, I suppose. And in the back, there seems to be a trough, possibly, that's uh, 
there's a fountain there. Anyway, there you are. This is from the Galleria Academica. And it is, of course, David Michelangelo. I think I actually got this when I was in Rome. Um, where I went with Adam Jolson, a fellow chess player, about 25 years ago. It's funny because when we got on the aircraft to come back to England, we both of us agreed that Rome really wasn't a very interesting place. No, we knew it was interesting, but it wasn't friendly. It, it, it isn't. They're not. They're not fond of the English. What we encountered. We went to the Vatican and we spent time walking around in parks, looking in shops and stuff. I can't speak any Italian. Adam had a smattering, which was useful. This is from Florence, David Michelangelo. Well, this is from Florence and not from Rome. I didn't buy it. I thought I'd bought it on the spot. It's the sort of thing a tourist would be offered. A tourist would be offered. Here we have something less well known, to say the least. Yeah, she's rather fine. This is by George Comba yeah, from 1919, and it's German. It's in Berlin. I suppose it's in stone, and it is etched, isn't it? a cloak in other words and beyond that in a state of undress i quite like it it would go well in a frame wouldn't it really maybe the white background by by way of contrast there now our last one last one for now always reminds me of the late princess diana but i don't think for a second it is this is from the wallace collection which uh, crops up from time to time in these chinwags. Um, it's a private collection, but open to the public, if that's not a contradiction in terms. And is shown in the film about Turner. Um, and it's quite easy to get to and very well worth visiting. By or after Etienne Maurice Falconi. And his the uh, sleeping Bacante. I don't know that comes from Bacchus or Bacchanalia. And it's in bronze. And it's published by the Beacon Press. So there you are. That's a bronze. So presumably they made a mould, did they? And then poured the molten metal into it and then it cooled and hardened. I wouldn't presume to know. Somebody somewhere will know. I think that's outstanding. Possibly the best one I've shown you. She's got uh, laurels in her hair and a bit of fruit. And she's being bashful. She's not being that bashful, otherwise she'd go and put some clothes on, wouldn't she? Do you think she's in silent reverie? She's not praying and she's not I, she's not asleep, otherwise her, her hand wouldn't be like this, as if she's just sort of saying, you know, I don't want to be disturbed, but on the other hand, look what I look like. And we are looking what, he, what uh, she looks like. I think it's a lovely card. So there we are. This has been Postcards 32. I'm James Pratt. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. Mm.